Welcome to a new video everyone. Today I'm going to be taking out the top grill of my bumper here. I've been seeing this trend a lot lately where everyone is just taking their grills out to where you can see their you know, radiators, intercoolers, whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is start with taking this top one off. If I can get the bottom one off today in this video, I'll you know try for it. But I think I've pretty much figured out how to at least get this one here on the top part off without having to take you know the whole bumper piece apart. So let's go ahead and get that off. To get the top piece off, we first want to take off our breather for the air intake here. So we're going to go ahead and remove these two bolts. And then we've got six fasteners, three on each side here that we're going to remove so we can pull this top piece off. Now that all the fasteners and screws have been removed, we can go ahead and pop this top piece off. You just have to make sure that you're getting it over these little posts right here and here. Now that we have this top part of the bumper raised up, we'll need a very small Phillips head screwdriver to get in here where these screws are at. There's one right there, and there's a few more way down in there where that blue paint is, and of course across all the way. So we're gonna get in there and take those out. Now that we have all eight of these screws out that we're holding the grill from the inside, if we peek way down in there, right there is a little spot where you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to push that little pin in. I went ahead and popped that a little bit in already just to make sure that would release the grill and you can see there it has. And there you have it. You just have to wiggle the grill loose enough to get free from these little clips that are all the way around the outside here and it'll just pop right out. You've actually also got real easy access to your horns. I'm probably gonna be doing something with those here pretty soon, so stay tuned for a video on that. And now we wanna go ahead and secure everything back that needs to go back, all the bolts and the fasteners up here. Obviously not all of those are gonna go back because some of them were holding the grill in, but we wanna make sure that all of these structural pieces that are holding this whole top piece of the bumper together go back to where they need to go. Alrighty you guys, and it's just that easy to take the grill out of a lot of these cars. A lot of it's just these little clips and maybe some bolts or screws, you know, behind this top piece here that you can get to pretty easily. Um, I highly suggest that you get one of these little like prior tools. I got a whole set 
of like detailing equipment and a little prior tool came with it uh, to get these little clips out. I'll leave a link down in the description below, but they're really useful tools if you're going to be doing anything like this to your car. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to check out another one somewhere here on the channel, and I hope to see you in my next one.